contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Hardcore Championship. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown, he is the Hardcore Champion, the Fallen Angel. Now the WWE Universe sure isn't shy about sharing their feelings about this superstar. Victoria, Texas, weighing 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hey, you can tell by that walk, the challenger is ready. I'll tell you what, Michael, I've been looking forward to this match. This is going to be awesome. Oh, man, what a neck breaker. Look at these two jockey for position. Battling for control. Spine buster. That'll take its toll. He's putting those educated feet to good use. He gets out of trouble there. Angel unloads. Oh. And that one hurt his hand. There's a lot of things under the ring, and all of them hurt. And we're going back between the ropes. What's he think he's going to do with that? Oh, and did you hear the impact? And again, he gets struck with that object. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I thought he was going to get level there. He's 
these superstars will do whatever it takes to win here tonight. An angel counter. Oh, back to the head. Back to the temple. Spinebuster! These no DQ matches are so dangerous. Remember, there are no countouts in this contest. This match could end up anywhere. Steve Austin has really gained some ground here with this prodigious offense. Oh, man, what impact from that suplex. These no DQ matches are so dangerous. And there he goes, under the bottom rope. And maybe some order will be restored here. Now back to the ring. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. Oh, what a vicious shot with the sledgehammer. I don't think there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to to achieve victory here tonight. And that's a shot that could drop a grizzly. And he hits him with an impressive combination of kicks. These no DQ matches are so dangerous. You hear how his leg connected? And the boot connects with the abdomen. And he's forced back in the ring. And this is going to return to the ring. Reversal. How quickly was Angel able to counter that? Uh-oh. Look where he's going again. chair shot after all of these shots to the head i've got a feeling oh and he gets cracked again with that steel chair how many more chair shots can they take his shoulders are down and angel kicks out at two and a half Flattened. 
Total. It might be time to run. Back into the ring now. He's putting those educated feet to good use. A reversal by Stone Cold. And this has got to be it. Look out! Look out. That's it! Oh, Steve Austin looks like he's taking a shoulder stand. Two, three. Angel wins! A couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. And here's some highlights from the matchup. Oh, they mesmerized the WWE Universe in that match. And here are just some of the highlights. Oh, that was a match for the record books. The WWE Universe will be buzzing about this one for a while. Here is your winner, and still the hardcore champion, the Fallen Angel. What an incredible match. That one could have gone either way. Nobody has anything to be ashamed of in this one. Contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Evolution from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing 245 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, Randy Orton. I'm excited for this one. Approaching the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 286 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar. Here we go.
It's hard to believe the superior skill, form, and ability Randy Orton possesses. That's not even discussing the RKO. He catches him with the axe handle. Look at the cold gaze of the Viper. What must he be thinking in this match? Well, anybody that's been following him over the last several weeks knows the kind of role this guy has been on. Every time he comes out here, he seems to be performing better and better. Man, that one rocked him. You know, in the past few years, I think we've seen more serious injury caused by Brock Lesnar's Kimura than by any other finisher in WWE. In fact, I don't know if calling it a finisher is adequate. It's more like a mutilator. Just ask Mark Henry, or even Triple H. He gets out of trouble there. What a reversal. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? He drops the elbow. Orton trapped him. Oh, the reversal by Brock Lesnar. Nice reversal there. Suffice to say, you never want to get in Lesnar's grasp, Cole. He's as strong as an ox. He's got hands the size of lunch pails, and there's no getting out of that Kimura lock once you're in it. All you can do is tap out before he yanks your elbow out of the socket or snaps your arm in half. And Randy Orton has momentum. He anticipated that move perfectly. And there's the reversal. Oh, out of nowhere. What a shot. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hold. Still the come king is what should be a phenomenal main event. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see those teams going at it. It should be a classic tag team matchup. When I think about Randy Orton's personal life, I think about what it must have been like growing up amongst wrestling greatness. His grandfather, the Big O, his father, WWE Hall of Famer Cowboy Bob Orton. It must have been amazing to learn this business from men who are battle-tested and truly all-time great. In. This could be it. Oh my god! He connects with the F5. How did he do that? This could be it. Oh. I don't believe it. The match is over. Let's go to the highlights here. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar. Absolutely amazing. We knew he felt he had to win this one tonight. I mean, there's absolutely no way to underscore how big this victory is. Perhaps the biggest in his life. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Belfast, Northern Ireland, Flynn Four. Oh, what a matchup this is going to be.
And approaching the ring, representing the prime time players from Live Oak, Florida, weighing 270 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Titus O'Neil. I'm excited for this one. Do you see who's coming out? Be on your best behavior, Michael. Welcome. Have a seat right here. Here we go. And this one's destined to be a human demolition derby. Tie up. This is about skill and power. Here we go with Titus O'Neil. From behind. You know, Titus O'Neil has been a monster since day one. First on the gridiron at the University of Florida, and then as a member of the NFL's Jacksonville Jaguars. In 2012, Titus debuted in WWE and became one half of the primetime players. Things got heated when Titus attacked his partner, Darren Young, to make his own fortune. Man, what a way to start 2014. Oh, big DDT! Titus O'Neil with a nice reversal. He was one step ahead on that one. You know, everything changed for Darren Young and Titus O'Neil after they lost to Axel. I mean, Titus turned his attacks toward Darren Young and left him beaten in the ring. Man, I wouldn't want to be partners with a guy like that. No! Oh, my gosh! O'Neal with a nice reversal. Titus O'Neal with a nice reversal. He's got him. When you're the size of Titus O'Neal, a finishing move on an opponent can mean it's the finish of their career, not just the match. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at O'Neal's clash of the Titus. Now that's incredible impact. Watch it. Trouble there. Oh. Great move. He was able to reverse that. Man, Titus's finishing move is so brutal to opponents, it takes them down and keeps them down for good. Oh, what a counter! your eye on the future. Ah, he scored with that one. Oh, what's he going to do to follow that up? And the future takes control again. Future makes the cover. And he manages to get the shoulder up. What 
What should Titus O'Neil try to do differently at this stage to remain viable? To be honest, he just needs to hope this ends sooner rather than later. Titus O'Neil with a nice reversal.